Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Big Blue Button Summit 12. This is the HTML5 client update from Toronto, Canada. My name is Anton Georgiev. I work for Blindside Networks. My name is Augusto Benemann, and I work for MCONF. My name is Luca Zavaki. I work for MCOM. Uh, my name is Maxim Klobistov. I work at Blindside Networks. Hello, guys. My name is Osvaldo Akawa and I work for IMDT. Hey guys, I am Tainan, and I work at IMDT. Hello guys, uh, I'm Paulo, and I work at MCONF Technology. Hi, my name is Kurt Brown, and I work at uh, Seneca College in Toronto. In today's presentation, we will give you information on the, the latest features since the last summit, which was about six months ago, and we'll provide some links and updates for the next step that follow. Okay, um, so this summit, we've been working hard on the stability of the WebRTC media implementation on the HTML5 client. So both for screen sharing and webcams. Uh, we've got some good work going regarding screen sharing quality also, mainly on Chrome. So it's a higher bitrate stream now. Uh, and stability seems pretty good. Uh, we think we fixed a lot of the issues where users could, couldn't see each other and screen sharing didn't appear. And we have also worked largely on the stability of the streaming server we've been using. That's pretty much it on my side. Now it's possible to start and stop a record straight from HTML5 client. Uh, also, uh, we've been working on uh, putting the the final the final parts of the recording that weren't uh, captured by the HTML5 client. So. Now we can get the, the webcams recorded through the media server and uh, all the, the screen sharing and the, build, the record build scripts are uh, finding these files and building the recording. So it's uh, working uh, almost uh, the same as the, if you were recording a meeting started via flash. So, and, uh, And here's, there's a picture of uh, a meeting with uh, cameras recorded and with screen share recorded uh, being played uh, via the playback interface. We have introduced some connection statistics for the videos. So it's not now possible to see some information like, like how many packets were sent, received and lost. It also gives information about bit rate, loss rate, the code delay and the route to attack. Hello, guys. So, as you can see on the slides, we introduced the webcam swap possibility. It works similar to the webcam meeting layout on the current Flash client, where you can swap the presentation area with the webcam area. So, you can have a meeting more focus it on the video side. Hello guys. Uh, we can now control the usage of webcams and screen share to limit bandwidth usage. 
this is very useful on the mobile connections. Just navigate to settings, data save, and turn off webcams or screen share with an one click. Um, hi. Uh, so, uh, with all the features we've developed in the HTML5 client over the last few years, and of course the new features we keep developing, we pay special attention to performance. And uh, in order to achieve that goal, we use uh, one of the things we use is stress testing. So, for example, we can start it up. Uh, we often start up. Um, uh, a big number of headless Chrome instances and point them to one server to see how the client performs uh, with a large number of users. And uh, another example would be uh, high frequency drawing to the whiteboard to see how the client uh, works under that situation. And uh, uh, we usually do all those things along with the development. And uh, that, of course, allows us to make sure that the final version of the feature, of the new feature, always performs well under the high load. That's the goal. So, so we've been working a lot uh, with accessibility recently. Um, previously, the HTML5 client was accessible to uh, desktop screen readers, so things like NVDA or uh, JAWS. Um, but we wanted to take it a step further and make sure that the mobile screen readers also had the same sort of experience as the desktop. Uh, so we've uh, basically made sure that the client now functions uh, the same using uh, Android's TalkBack or VoiceOver from uh, the iOS platform. And below down, you can see in the uh, slide a link to a demo of our sort of resident uh, QA who has a, a visual disability um, using the screen reader to interact with the recent changes. Uh, now, what we've also done um, after being able to witness uh, the interaction of our QA with the client was that uh, the issue of the screen reader interfering with uh, sort of voice feedback from the uh, conference itself was an issue. Uh, so we had to implement a way to allow him uh, basically shortcut keys so he could bypass any extra noise from the screen readers itself. Uh, so we've used the access key property um, in order to activate the access key. And this ends up being a benefit to sighted users as well, um, because you don't have to be using a screen reader to basically activate these keys. Um, but these keys do change depending on the browser or uh, operating system that you're viewing them in. Uh, so you can see a sort of table there that gives you the list of access keys based on the operating system and browser. And then we've also provided a sort of uh, modal to display the available hotkeys in the client as well. Uh, so currently there's a short little list here of some of the functionalities that you can use with the access keys uh, to sort of jump to any sort of functionality that you want. Uh, once we've sort of solidified the uh, accessibility for the screen readers, uh, we sort of wanted to move over to accessibility for sighted uh, users as well. Uh, one of the issues that was pointed out was the user list uh, was previously sometimes too small to see users with uh, large names, even if you had opened a drop down menu. Uh, the full username wasn't visible all the time. Uh, so we've implemented a sort of scaling user list that you can expand or shrink and close uh, with your mouse to make sure that you can always see the name of the people in the meetings as well. These are the major updates we wanted to, to share with you. And now if you want to go to a server where we have the latest version of the HTML5 client, one of them is testdirubaton.org. I believe we, we still have to uh, push the, the very latest, but uh, that should be done just after the presentation ends. Also, if you want to install the HTML5 client on, a, on your server where you already have a functioning button with Flash client, Please follow the steps in, in the docs, people, button, org link. 
This version of the HTML5 client is tied to the BiggerButton 2.0 version. And uh, if you check out the GitHub repository tag for matching the 2.0 release branch, you'll be able to see and, uh, and use the latest HTML5 code so you can build it on your own on your machine. So the next steps from here, as you can see, we've added a lot of functionality and improved it over the, the last few months. And at this point, you can pretty much use the, the HTML5 client alone to, to hold meetings and uh, use it to, to conduct classes. So over the, the next uh, following weeks, we just want to clear the some minor, uh, we can add some minor changes and uh, improve what we have. And when this is all stable, we're going to push um, a beta. And from then, from then on, we'll continue improving. But the, the goal is to provide a really stable HTML5 client, which is at least as good as the, the Flash client is. And even better, of course. So this is the time when you can put some, when you can ask some questions in the public chat. Yeah, right now the resolution picking is fixed. It, it, it's related for the browsers, Oliver. Uh, but we plan to implement something so that you can probably pick in a model what resolution you would like um, related to your your webcam capabilities. Uh, this was this is on the pipeline. Oliver is asking if uh, we will introduce an option to close the presentation area and focus only on, on webcams. Uh, yes, there is some, some work related to this. Uh, through a parameter, we'll be able to control if we want to include the presentation area at all. And this is to address a scenario where the, the entire focus is on, on webcam chats, on something like video chat.
Ali is asking if the HTML5 client can be joined by DioIn. Uh, so yes, this is the, the same functionality that's available in the Flash client. It's not, it doesn't really depend on the client. The DioIn number would be the same. The audio is the same audio from FreeSwitch. So all that is supported. All right, this session has been recorded and will be available with the link later today, most likely. Thank you all for participating. Uh, last question was from, from Ali. If the HTML5 client release version is tied to the Flash client, <coughs> The HTML5 client release version is tied to BigBlueButton in general. So it is tied, yes.